Alright. I guess we're going to be talking about the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer because everyone else is talking about it. <laughs> uh, and I'm a gamer, so obviously I have to provide some type of commentary or opinion about Grand Theft Auto 6. Um, I don't know where to begin. All I have to say is it looks fantastic and I will be playing it. Um, I don't know if I should give my brief history with Grand Theft Auto games, but I never really got into Grand Theft Auto until Grand Theft Auto 3 because that was the first time they let you walk around a three-dimensional environment, and I thought that was interesting to me. More interesting than the over-the-top view that they had in the old-school classic games like GTA 1, GTA 2, and uh, GTA London, which I would like to see them go back to London or maybe some other location overseas after this one, because after this, where do they go from here? <laughs> I think they focused on American locations um, enough, <laughs> quite enough. It's time to go overseas with future Grand Theft Auto games. But yeah, it wasn't until Grand Theft Auto 3 when I started to get into it, and you know that got me into Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which is one of my favorites. And of course, I enjoyed Grand Theft Auto San Andreas because the size of the map was so much bigger than Vice City, and you get to do so many more things in that game. And I thought the small little RPG elements they included was pretty neat, where you have to eat food and work out to increase your stats for CJ. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, I thought they were going to go bigger with that one, but they seemed to take a... It seemed like they took a step back, but the graphics looked decent. Um, and now with Grand Theft Auto 5, which... <laughs> I, I, I did enjoy that a lot, but they've been milking that game for so long. And it's mostly because of the online elements. I think a lot of people still play it for the online portion and paying Rockstar that money for those shark cards, which I never understood. But, you know, it worked for other games, so why not Grand Theft Auto, right? Um, no, but I enjoyed it a lot. And, of course, I have to mention Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. Red Dead Redemption was fantastic. And Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2, which was a prequel story, was still fantastic. I thought the graphics were like, holy crap. The graphics in that game were top-notch. And just the realism of the world. But here we are in 20... Was it 2023 still? We're, well, we're heading into 2024. We're finally going to get a trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, which is not out until 2025. So they're giving people a year to plan how they're going to spend out their free time with this game. <laughs> uh, but let's just jump into it here. I have the trailer on mute to avoid copyright strikes. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike anyway. So there is our new, our new character here. We're getting a new female... Uh, I don't know what's the word I should use here. Antagonist? No, not antagonist, sorry. Protagonist or anti-hero? Well, anyways, new female character. First time ever in a Grand Theft Auto game. I think that's uh, pretty interesting. But I believe you're going to have a choice to s switch between her and her love interest, her boyfriend or whatever. So you get to be a male or female. And hold on, let me... Uh, let me... Uh, Okay, I just wanted to look at her name again. So it's Lucia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And here we are. We're going back to Vice City, which is a fantasy world that's inspired by Florida, obviously. Because each Grand Theft Auto games, they, they pretty much base it off real cities. I mean, Grand Theft Auto has always been an over-exaggeration of America. Almost a parody of America, but... <laughs> Some of the things that go down in these Grand Theft Auto games is not too far off from the truth. Uh, what's the old saying? Art imitates reality? Or is it reality that imitates art? I don't know. Rockstar Games presents. Look at this. Look at, look at the Florida Everglades. 
or the Vice City Everglades. Look at that. Flamingos. Look at the beach. Look at that. That's pretty accurate to Florida. <laughs> Even though it's this is all made up, but, you know, it's based off real life. Uh, NPCs looking great. Looking great. I, I wonder if they're using Unreal 5 Engine for this or something else. There you go. Got a... Uh, I'm not sure if that's an NPC or if that's Lucia. Looks like a different character. But look at this. Got some of the city life going on. This is pretty accurate. And I'm not sure if this is a strip club or a regular club. Possibly could be a strip club, but once again, graphics looking good. Got more characters there, which I assume get to play into the story at some point. Character models look great. Look at that. Look at the city at night. And you get to, and if you get to drive from there to the other parts there in the background, that would be great. Well, drive or fly. I assume they'll let you fly planes in this as well. Matter of fact, I wonder how much bigger this is going to be than GTA 5. And look at that. More of the city nightlife going on. The lighting looks great. The cars look well, very much like GTA cars, as usual. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing some familiar cars from, I want to say, Vice City. Uh, some of these cars were in GTA 5 too, right? Not sure. Some of the the club, the, the nightclubs here going on. And look at this. That looks awesome. Can't wait to uh, cause all kinds of havoc. And here we have... I'm not sure if that's going to be a character or just an NPC. But once again, character models look great. Vice. Letting you know we're going back to Vice City. Got <laughs> poachers there. Riling up uh, alligators in people's swimming pools. Which is pretty accurate to Florida. They got alligators that roam all over that damn place uh so that's pretty funny you got <laughs> you got uh certain female individuals twerking on top of cars that's pretty accurate that that goes on in certain parts of the world don't ask me how i know but i know these things oh that's 100 percent accurate you have people doing um, drift challenges in the middle of the streets. Um, th because this this kind of nightlife does happen in Florida. And uh, in some places it happens in California as well. Okay, so you have uh, social media influence going on here. With people, I guess, posting stuff on their TikToks. Or <laughs> what's going to be the GTA version of Facebook. So that's, that's yeah... They're getting the realism down. Alligator breaking into a... I'm assuming that's the store of a gas station. What if you get to use an alligator as a pet? But then again, they'll be copying off of... Uh, Grand. Or no, sorry. They'll be copying off of uh, Far Cry... Was it Far Cry 5 or 6 that did that? I can't remember which Far Cry... You got a pet alligator that you get to unleash on people at your will. Hold on, let me look this up real quick. Because I forgot which Far Cry that was. Let's see, Far Cry... Yeah, it was Far Cry 6, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wonder if they're going to take a page out of their book and uh, do it for Grand Theft Auto. That'll be a first. Um, Or... If it's just going to be part of the local wildlife that you have to avoid. Very much like in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Where you saw like alligators or snapping turtles around the swamp areas. And if you get too close, they'll lunge at you. <laughs> and pretty much kill you. That was, those, those were pretty damn realistic. Rockstar did a good job with those alligators and uh, other wildlife in, uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2. So this looks like police cam footage, and <laughs> looks like cops chasing down the local Florida man at a gas station. There you go, another Florida man just acting crazy. 
this looks pretty pretty wild. What I mean by wild is not the guy in the thong watering his lawn. <laughs> uh, I'm, I meant the uh, hair physics going on here. So let's look at this again. Look at that hair physics. Hold on, can we play that in slow motion? Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see, right here. And then how do I get this to play in slow motion? Uh, playback speed. Uh... 0.25? Alright, let's go with 0.25. Oh no, that's speeding it up. Alright, hold on, hold on. Playback speed. Let's go with 2. There we go. And then let's bring it back. Nope. Let's bring it back there. Okay, let's play it. Is it going to play? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it screwed up the browser. Hold on, let's... Fine, let's put it on 0.75 speed. Oh, now it doesn't want to play. Fine, let's just put it back to normal. Normal speed. No, not languages. Sorry, I'm using the PS5 browser for this. Okay, let's go back to normal speed. There we go, normal. We're back to normal, people. <laughs> what is this? What is that? Hold on, go back. Go back. Yeah, what is this going on here? Thrill Billy Mud Club? Alright, so... Similar to other Grand Theft Auto ga games where they had, like, uh, certain factions or gangs. Like, you know, some of the Grand Theft Auto games had biker gangs. We're going to have, like, this hillbilly gang in, the, in uh, the Everglades of Florida. Or, sorry, Vice City. They're called the Thrill Billy Night or Thrill Billy Mud Club. That's it. All right. So I'm noticing some monster trucks in the background. I'm guessing you get to drive some uh, monster trucks in this game. It's always fun, and I don't know who these fun individuals are. Looks like we have a stereotype of Karen, <laughs> the local Karen stereotypes. People partying. More of our lead characters there. And uh, this looks like it's mimicking more of real life here with crazy people getting arrested. Yeah, see, here's some more factions here or some more gangs. Like, this is a dirt bike gang, which is pretty accurate. Because <laughs> that there are dirt bike gangs in certain parts of the world. And this looks to be more... More uh, street racing. Cause they had street racing before in the other games, so we're getting more of that in GTA 6. What is this? High Rollers Lifestyle? Maybe it could be something else. It could be something else. I don't know. To me, it looks like more street racing. Okay, two of our leads getting ready to rob a store. Looks like they're walking... I don't know if they walk through the back, because it shows another shot where they came through the entrance. There we go. Yeah, see? They, they just burst it through the entrance, so... Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So, you know, you get to do your typical GTA criminal activities. <laughs> They're continuing that on. Uh, yeah. GTA 6. Coming out in 2025. There it is. So no month. No, like, precise date. Just the, the year. I would not be surprised if this comes out in holiday 2025. Uh, I see two possibilities. It's either going to come out in February of 2025, or it's going to come out around the holiday season. And that's going to be on top of everyone's Christmas lifts in 2025. Uh, that's for sure. Alright. Yeah. That's uh, my breakdown of GTA 6. Looks great. We'll be playing it. I didn't think it could look any better than GTA 5. But it does. It does. I don't know what graphics engine they are using for this. Um, yeah. I don't know. And will it really look like this? Will it really run like this on consoles? You know, will it really run 
and look this good on a PS5 or Xbox Series X. Because it's not going to come out on PC for a long time. And obviously it's going to look better on PC, but... You know... They always take their sweet time for the PC releases, and then that's when everyone could have a, their fun with the mods and all that stuff. But, uh... I don't know. It just it just looks really, really good. That's that's all I could keep saying about it, is that it looks good. <laughs> um, Rockstar has never disappointed when it comes to a Grand Theft Auto game or when it comes to a Red Dead Redemption game. After this game, I wouldn't mind if they go back to Red Dead Redemption, make a Red Dead Redemption three, or if they're going to do another GTA. Have it take place overseas. I think we've seen enough of America, right? Or at least an over-exaggerated version of America. Bring it back to London. Bring it back to... Or have it take place in some European country. Just just take it overseas, right? But yeah, after this, I'm pretty sure they're going to take a long break again. <laughs> they might milk this for another 10 years, maybe even 20 years. And, uh... They might go back to uh, Red Dead Redemption, but who knows? Who knows? Obviously, this is going to have an online mode, because online mode in GTA V made so much money, and they milked that for so long, because people kept playing it. People kept playing it, and people kept paying Rockstar money for additional content, and those shark cards just to have virtual money. I never understood that, but I guess it worked. I guess, I guess it was kids. Kids were the ones... That we're paying for that <laughs> because I don't see any adults playing or well maybe there are a few adults out there that are actually paying for those shark cards but me personally I never I never got into that stuff like paying actual money just to have virtual money in a video game no no but that's the world we're living in now the world of modern gaming and uh, you know these younger gamers are growing up being used to that kind of stuff, being used to all these pay models for video games these days, it's it's kind of disappointing to see as a, a long-time gamer, but that's the world we're living in now. Alright, guys, so, yeah, that's my breakdown and reaction, I guess. I'm not going to be doing another video on this until I have the actual game in my hands and I will be doing an unboxing video. <laughs> that's probably the only other video I will be doing for Grand Theft Auto 6. So I'll see you in 2025 for another Grand Theft Auto 6 uh, video. <laughs> Alright, later.